this is my channel stitch and cottage designs it's trying about cross stitch and harry potter um welcome if you're um new here and you're just finding me um i hope you enjoy like the content like subscribe ring the bell all the things um definitely leave me comments because comments are my dream um i read comments here out loud um just so you're aware if you leave a comment you're gonna be on next week um and I like to respond to them out loud too because that's the best way of interacting with y'all. Um, if you're returning, you already know the jam. You're here for all the fun. Let's get into this. I've got some stitching. I've got some more mini things to show you. Um, we've got shop update as far as shirts go. Um, I'm wearing my spoony shirt today. Um, I don't think I have magical haul. I don't think I have stitchy haul. I haven't bought anything. Um, I have just been um, surviving, working, and I actually have been stitching, y'all. I actually have put needle, thread, fabric together, done the things. Um, I did some, I did quite a bit of mini building this last week. Let's see, what else have I done? And that's about it. Um, College kid is home for spring break. High school kid is also home for spring break. Um, adult kid is sleeping because he's got night shift working. Um, so all of this to say, um, if this video ends up being choppy, it's because people are here. People are here on a Wednesday in the middle of the day and I don't approve. Um, but Whatever. I birthed these people. I guess I'm stuck with them for the rest of my life. <sighs> Somebody, there should have been a disclaimer. I feel like there should have been a disclaimer. There was. They're yours forever. <laughs> okay. Can you tell I'm having so much fun with my kids this week? Um, speaking of Spoonie, um, I have... <laughs> Even though it doesn't look like it, I'm amping up the volume for y'all again. Um, I do have pretty low spoons today. I had really low spoons yesterday. Um, which is weird because yesterday was infusion day. Monday, I, I was fine. I mean, I was working. I was getting orders out the door. I was doing all my things. Um, Monday night, could not sleep at all. Tuesday get up early to get out to infusion which is in Kansas I mean it's like 45 minute drive um if I've got clear roads um but yeah 45 minutes to get out there get my infusion two hours get home and when I got home I literally just stumbled up to my bed and laid there for hours I did get up um I think I started this. I think I did put a few stitches in what I'm going to show y'all. And, but it was like minimal. And ate some dinner. And, um, oh, I got the new shirt listing up, which I'm going to talk to you about. And then back to bed. So, um, it was not a whole lot of activity yesterday. And woke up today. I don't know what it is with Wednesdays. Y'all, last Wednesday, we're doing life updates right here at the beginning. Um, last Wednesday, I had a, I think I told y'all I have a bit of a headache. And guess what? Today, I have a bit of a headache. I don't know. Like, I love doing floss tube. Floss tube isn't bringing me stress, so I don't know what this is. I think it's like extra, my hair's kind of a little bit tight right now. Um, I will remember the minute I hit stop, I'm, I'm fixing this hair and making it not so tight, but I don't think it's, I don't think it can just be that. I don't know. We did have massive storms roll through here last week. Um, damaging hail. Um, luckily, thank goodness, I, we did not notice any damage. Um, I did go out like the next morning. It was two nights in a row. I had to go out the morning after and walk around and like check my roof and make sure everything was okay because the hail, the winds, um, 
horrible and I know people got it worse than me I know especially like it was this whole like if you looked at the radars this whole just strip of intense thunderstorms moving across the country states um like through multiple states so hopefully everybody made it out of that okay and not too terrible of damage reports but um yeah it we had horrible storms roll through so I don't know if that was the migraine but Last Wednesday, I ended up with a horrible migraine. Could not sleep all night that night. Between the migraine and the storms threatening to literally tear the roof off my house, I didn't fall asleep until 7 a.m. Thursday morning. Slept from 7 to 11. Um, and then, like, got up for the rest of the day and crashed the, tried to crash the next night. But we had storms again that night. It was a rough one. Um, but anyways, leading into infusion, I I mean, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I was good. Those were all red days, and that was good. I even was, like, talking to people on Monday, and I was like, my infusion is tomorrow, y'all. And they were like, and I was like, I know. I haven't even been low. Um, and then got my infusion, and then immediately went. <laughs> <laughs> Um, to be fair, the infusion, the go juice typically takes about a week-ish. Um, so I account for about five more red days even after infusion. Um, maybe my, maybe my, um, lows were a little bit late. They were a little bit early last time, so now I don't, I don't. If the predictability of this MS could, um, I mean, if we could predict the things, we would be so much better. But there's zero planning. It's wake up each day and see what today's going to be. Yay. Um, not last night, but the night before leading into infusion. So Monday night leading into infusion, I got zero sleep, right? Like hours, like um, hours. Three, four, five-ish hours, somewhere in there. Not enough, okay? Woke up dead get to my infusion, get my infusion, get home. Yesterday, 12 hours. I slept for 12 hours, y'all. Can we, can we not do the, mm, 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 mm. get it together. Um, I was saying like, I, I would like a 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. I would even settle for an 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. But getting up at noon, which is what I did today, it is now like after three and I'm barely sitting down to record. Getting up at noon, m my entire day is done. Like, I have this mentality of like, well, mm, can't do anything now. Even though very clearly I've got plenty of day left in me. But getting up at noon just feels like my entire day is trash. Gone. Gone forever. <laughs> it's a mental block thing. Okay. Let's talk stitching. I did some stitching, y'all. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is I did get all the way through my um, Simple Gifts Halloween. Um, if you are stitching this, please let me know. Um, please tag me in your progress photos. Use the hashtag 12GiftsOfHalloween, 12GiftsOfHalloween. Also tag me, at AthenaXStitches, because I want to see the things. I want to see all the whips. Um, I did get all the way through the March portion. So I did get the word boo with the cat and the little acorn and there's a little purple heart down there. And I even did a little bit of extra border stitching right here so that I can get all the way through a 300 stitch um, challenge for fandom stitching. I got four of the six weeklies done last week, which is yay because I don't think I did any in February. So yay. Um, I am going to um, attempt, I did, okay, I already completed one, yes, that's right, I already completed one on Monday, um, I'm, I'm gonna attempt, I'm gonna attempt them all, we're, we're gonna see how that goes, um, Nancy is yelling in, in the back of my head right now, I forgot to show you the pattern, this is the pattern by Praise Words Be, Praise Word Be Stitches, um, the April stitching is going to come, I think, into like here. We're going to fill in this part here. 
um, I have this divided into 12 sections um, so that I can stitch around a thousand ish each month this pattern is a little over 12,000 stitches um, in total so I can stitch a thousand ish each month and have this be a 2024 start and finish so if again if you are following along or if you are stitching this at all please let me know tag me um, we do have a Facebook messenger group where we're trying to like support each other cheer each other on do all the things so there's that too the next thing I picked up was my mini bottles. Um, I, I did see y'all, um, numerous people asking me about the mini bottles. So here's the first one that I got done. This was January and I finished February's. I can't see, but hopefully y'all can see. Um, I freaking love it. Um, it's so good. It's in a cue snap because I have started marches. Um, but, yep, here, let's fold it this way and this way, and then I can show you. There we go. Um, it's so good. As I try to, like, get the shadows away so y'all can see it. It's so good. You can see Ron and Harry sitting in the back, one of the twins in the car, um, the trunks in the car, the burrows in the background. They're flying into land. Um, it's, oh, I absolutely love this. Sorry. Hubby's calling. Sorry, I can't talk right now. So, yeah. I love the way that this, the cork into the glass even has, like, a, oh, the way the designer laid these out and did these. It's so good. Okay, speaking of the designer... Um, I got, originally I found these on, um, well, originally I found them through another stitcher. I think it was Moray Stitches. Uh, I think, I, I think it was all through Moray Stitches on Instagram. Um, and I actually know her through, um, Magical Stitches. That's a throwback to 2019. Um, squirrel. Magic Stitch Studio, okay? She was on Etsy. She's no longer on Etsy. Um, I believe she is a version designer, so she's not on Etsy anymore. Um, I, rather than like try to tell you all the things, I'm going to link it down below. This direct link will get you through to one of her, one of her websites. Like she goes to like one of those third party things to like sell her PDFs, right? It'll get you through to there, and then I think my I think the link that I saved even has you already sorted into the search category of bottles. So then, if you start scrolling through her bottles, you will eventually find all of these. Um, I did have twelve, but um, when somebody else asked me earlier, and I went searching for them, and I found them, I found like three new ones, I think. So I'm up to like fifteen now. So I'm gonna, the plan is to just keep stitching these, hopefully one, one a month every month until I have them all. So I have started March's bottle. Um, super amazing start right there. Can y'all just love it? you love it, right? Um, this is going to be the always bottle. I'm super excited for this one. I'm literally just stitching them in the order that they are in my, um, in my um, Google Drive. So, um, this is the next one. I'm super excited for this one. It looks so freaking good. I will tell you, there are quarter stitches. Um, the Burrow one had a bunch of quarter stitches as well. This one does too. When you try to upload quarter stitches, which for her and her patterns, without giving everything away here, I will zoom in and I will show you what her quarter stitches look like. These are what her quarter stitches look This is what the quarter stitches look like. So it looks like you've got that line down the middle and you're supposed to put two different colors in the same square, right? So on Ada, I will come up in the one square, I'll pierce the center, go down. Come up in this square, pierce the center, go back down. Now this line is going to be 
back stitching. So I don't even worry about this one. Um, there's a lot of times where people are like, well, how do you know which one to make three quarters and which one to make a quarter? I'm not even worrying about that, that extra line. I'm making two quarter stitches and then this half stitch will come from the back stitching. And all of this is right around where the Deathly Hollows, um, the, the top of the triangle is. So that is what happened with um, the burrow. There are, I mean, you, there's no way you can see them, but there are quarter stitches all in and through here. And then when I came over them with the back stitching line, it made sense because on one side you had blue, on the other side you had green. So um, that's how I'm doing it for those. Now, some other patterns, maybe you won't have the back stitch, and then you'll have to determine what's supposed to be in the foreground, what's supposed to be in the background. So like if you're stitching a house and you've got sky in the background and it calls for, you know, quarter stitches, we'll make the house that's in the foreground the three quarter stitch and make the sky in the background that quarter stitch. We could just have a whole little mini tutorial and I hope that made sense for anybody who's struggling with quarter, three quarter stitches. Um, also, they are doable on Ada. They don't look the greatest, but they're doable. And on these mini bottles, you can't even see them. It's fine, everything's fine. Um, the other thing that I started on um, is the February stitches. So if I talked about last week, February didn't happen. February basically did not exist um, as far as stitching is concerned. So I am trying to catch up on all the must stitch February things and must, must stitch March things so that when I come to April, hopefully I could fall back into my regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> so I've got this February stitch and I've got this February stitch. These are the two that I am doing every month. So this is the Heart and Hand Monthly Mania series. Um, and this is February. And this is the Lizzie Kate. These are Flip It Bits. There's a lot of Flip It Bits. So this particular one is a bit of series. So a bit of January, a bit of February, a bit of March, so and so on. Um, it does come with um, three little buttons. Um, I, about half of these I got at a garage sale type um, thing, like which is where I got these. You see it, this was five cents, right? Um, so about half of these I got this garage sale thing, they didn't have the buttons. The other ones I had to buy brand new, they do have the buttons. I am just not going to use the buttons. Um, they're not, they're just there as kind of filler. They're not like part of the overall design. So I won't be using them. But here are the two designs, okay? What I did for January is I used the same exact color palette and fabric to stitch them both. And I thought, challenge accepted. Let's do this all year. So, um, oh, it's literally right in front of me. I will be using this fabric, which I don't know where I got this fabric, but it's a very pale purpley pink I mean, it's showing up pretty true right there. Um, it does have some modeling in it, which from the pink into the purple, which you're definitely not seeing, but um, that's the fabric I'm using for both of the months. Um, there's white stitching, obviously, so white, but I'm just using DMC white. And for the rest of the palette, here are my hand-picked colors. These are none of the called for colors. So we've got um, Plum Paisley, um, Cast Iron Skillet, meh. Okay, Jeez Louise, Cast Iron Skillet, this is Pink Azalea. Um, I should be telling you the brands, shouldn't I? Gentle Art, um, Lavender Potpourri, Classic Color Works, Little Pink Peony, and Classic Color Works, um, or leaf clover. So there's my palette for both of them. One's going to be more purpley, one's going to be more pink, but I'm going to, like, for the words, 
for the rest of February, I think that's like a brownish, I'll be doing uh, purple so I can have more purple into this stitch. Um, the flowers down there on the bottom are supposed to be blue, making them purple. This, I'll be making it that light pink, but then I'll be adding this dark pink into that. So stay tuned, you'll see how that lays out. And then um, for this one, it's gonna be that darker purple. I'm gonna have that black for the words, um, the darker purple for the heart, and then we're gonna intermingle these um, pinks and purples in there. The chart calls for, you can see them, the chart calls for a Rhodes stitch throughout. I don't know, I need to look, oh, in fact, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. Um, I know that they called for some sort of a specialty stitch. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be the nose was supposed to be a specialty stitch in January. And I did not. I just did a regular stitch. So I think I'm going to stick with that theme of just doing regular stitches and not adding in that. Um, I know it's there for like texture, um, but... <laughs> And a Rhodes stitch, in case anybody's wondering, since we're doing all the cross stitch tutorials, that's what a Rhodes stitch looks like. So you will literally, you, you're coming over, you're not piercing the center, because if you're piercing the center, you'd be making an eyelet, right? So you're coming, you know, up at one, down at two, and you're literally just going over and over and over, and you'll do that like... There's 16, it looks, in total times that you'll come up at 1, down at 2, up at 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all the way through. So, that's what it looks like. Um, hoping to get that March um, bottle stitched rather quickly, um, like before I see you guys next week um and then and then I'll be going ham on the February and March stitches I did already pull the March things so there's the March and you can see there I got it for a dollar and it does not have the buttons in it so yeah and you see the buttons are just like scattered around the M so it doesn't take anything away not having the buttons. And then here is the um, March for Heart and Hand. And guys, oh, I knew I was going to do that. This fabric is nope. Brain's not going to come up with it. I feel like it's Fabrics by Stephanie. And I cannot remember the colorway right now. But you can definitely see. Do you see? Like, there's all the colors in there. Um, all the colors. So it's like a rainbow for March. I freaking love it. Um, and here is what we have for the colors. Hold, please. Hold, please. Hold, please. These are the specialty colors that I pulled. Um, again, just like looking at the colors on the chart and then picking what I have. So I've got whiskey for the golds, um, bean sprout for the greens, or the lighter green, I should say, mistletoe for the darker green, and go emerald, Aaron go emerald for the darkest green. That is, that is green, y'all. I promise you, it's green. Ooh, wants to be black. Maybe if I put other greens with it. It's Aaron Gold Emerald. I promise you, it's green. Hmm, I don't want it to be green. And then Colonial Copper for the um, Leprechaun's um, beard. So, beard and eyebrows. Um, and then I just pulled some DMC. Um, pale and pinkish colors for his Irish skin tone. 
Um, yeah, so that is what I have pulled and ready for March. So again, and then that will be the end of the must stitches. No, no, no. I still want to do whip go for March. So I don't even know what the whip go calls are. It's top of my head at all. But I will be doing the 500 stitches on the two call for whips in March as well. Um, it is the 20th today. Happy anniversary to my husband. He does not watch this at all. But it's been 22 years, y'all. It's been 22 years. We're still alive and kicking. And um, yeah, I haven't got sick of him yet. And I think he's tolerating me up till now. <laughs> Me and my and my obsession. You know, fun fact, since we're going to talk about 22 years and all the things, every time I go to Universal um, and people are like, oh, like at work, we're like, you know, oh, how's your wife doing or whatever? And he's like, oh, she wants to go see her boyfriend again. <laughs> boyfriend being Harry Potter. <laughs> he is the other man in my life. <laughs> oh, cracks me up. Anyways. That's all I've got for stitching. That's all the plans I have for stitching. Um, so let's get into um, shirts for today only. You're, this is probably going to go up a little bit later, so you've only got a couple hours left um, because it's already 3 o'clock by the time I get this edited and uploaded and all the things going to be later on this evening. You've only got a couple hours left if you're watching this today. If you are not, if you are watching this on March 21st, I am so sorry. It's already done. Um, hopefully you're following me on all the socials and you saw all the things, but I did also warn you last week that there was going to be a one day sale only. So hopefully you guys have all seen this and here it is. Spring stitching vibes. Spring stitching vibes. This shirt is available only on this shirt with white vinyl. That's it. Um, you can order your size. That's the only customization. This shirt has got a really cool, um, like gray heathered feel to it. Super soft. It's the Bella canvas shirt. It's the soft style shirt. Um, so it's super soft. They're super stretchy. And yes, my design will stretch with the stretch. Um, I just ask that you don't put it in the dryer because it is a heat transfer vinyl. If you put it in the dryer, it gets too hot. It could start peeling. It, should, it could start lifting. If it does lift, you can iron it back on and all the things you need to put parchment paper down, don't iron directly on the on there. Or you could just come see me and order a new shirt. <laughs> or just don't put it in the dryer. I do put mine in the dryer, but I only put them in there for a couple of minutes. I do hang dry all my clothes. Put them in the dryer for a couple of minutes with some fabric softener because who wants crunchy clothes? Um, anyways, here we go. Spring Stitching Vibes. This is part one of a four part series. Because how has it taken me this long to do a series in the shirts, y'all? I am all about a series. Love a series. Um, if you sell me part one, or if I come in on part one, that's it. I'm I'm all the parts in. I'm, I want all of them. Um, so this is a part one of a four-part series. Clearly, it's going to be the seasons. There will be um, summer next, autumn, and winter. Um, they will be available on the first day of the season. So today is the first day of spring. Um, technically, I think the spring equinox, oh my god, my mouth is having a seizure. The spring equinox. Thank you. I wanted to say equal. Equal. I don't know what I was trying to say. The spring equinox happened at 11 p.m. last night. I don't care. Um, it's typically on March 20th. I went with March 20th. Um, just because I always associate the first day of spring with my anniversary. Did we plan it that way? No, not even at all. We went to a courthouse and got married, just me and him and a judge. Like, it just happened. Um, anyways, we didn't realize until the next year, when it was also the first day of spring and our anniversary, we were like, oh, hey, we got, we got married on the first day of spring. Yeah, yes. Okay, first day of spring, it's available 24 hours only, all the rest of the shirts 24 hours only. So get in 
get them on those first days. Mark your calendars for those rest of those days. Of course, leading up to those days, I'll be putting out reminders and all the things. Um, what else did I want to say? There might be something coming out next year if you ended up if you end up missing something. Um, there might be something coming out next year where you can get them. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but I'm not guaranteeing anything. These are 24 hours only. Grab them. Um, okay, that's that. Now, let's do, um, would you rather's. Okay, would you rather's. Told you the interruptions. What's going into a bomb? Would you rather's and or comments. Here we go. Um, Tracy, Cloud, yes. Link down below for the mini bottles. Um, I'm going to just say Bianca because I am not pronouncing all the rest of those letters. <laughs> There's no way. Um, she is saying thank you so much for validating sticker anxiety. Yes, sticker anxiety is a real thing. I think I'd be interested to know how old you are because, um, I mean, it, I grew up in the 90s. I mean, I'm a child of the 80s, but I like grew up in the 90s, right? And it's like, ugh, with all of those Lisa Frank stickers and uh, where are all those stickers now? I don't have any of them. So did it matter? I should have just used the dang stickers. Um, use the stickers. It's going to be okay. Use the stickers. In fact, um, I have a sticker on my computer that just keeps wanting to come up and come up and come up. So I finally just took it off and threw it in the trash. I threw it in the trash, y'all. Um, use the stickers. Um, what else? Um, she said, if my husband isn't included in the best friend thing, um, in the best friend counting, then I would like to have five friends to do fun stuff with and my husband can be my best friend. I think that's cheating. <laughs> I feel like that's cheating because you're still going to end up with the best friend and five friends. You got to pick one or the other. Um, no, like that's real. This isn't real life. Like I have so many friends and I would count a lot of them as best friends. Like, and then I just have like, and then you have like, you know, you have friends at different levels and like all the, uh, yeah, I have, I feel like I personally right now am blessed with a lot of best friends and then a lot more friends on top of that who I would like to be best friends but we're getting there we're getting there um anyways um she also said Bianca I must admit I'm not a Harry Potter fan to be honest I've never read or watched anything Harry Potter oh <gasps> the shock um I welcome fans of all levels but a zero fan I don't know if I can handle that I need you to do um do me some bare minimum here do me some bare minimum. The audiobooks, absolutely amazing. You can put the audiobooks on while you're stitching. What my husband does, because she also goes on to say that she doesn't do well with anything where you have to like pay attention and like, like her ADHD, right? Her attention, I'm assuming your attention wanders through ADHD. It could be something else. My husband has ADHD. He doesn't have a very long attention span. So what he does is he gets the audiobooks and he listens to them over over and over and over and over and over and he just puts them on in the background and eventually after like the 20th time not that I'm saying you need to listen to this book 20 times but after the 20th time of him listening to one book he's like I think I got it I can get a new one now because <sighs> he will fall asleep in the middle he will be he'll jump in the shower the books playing in the bedroom like it stresses me out. And then when, and then he'll just pick it back up and start listening to it again. I'm like, you just missed 30 minutes of the book. Rewind it. And not, no, no, I'm sorry. I'll catch it on the next time. Oh, I cannot with his brain. He does the same thing with movies. He'll fall asleep during movies, but he'll just start them off from the beginning every single time. Every single time he'll watch a little bit more and a little bit more, or he'll watch this part and he'll, or he'll wake up later and he'll catch some of this part. It takes him like 20 tries to watch a movie. So, <laughs> it could be done. It could be done. Um, or you could just stay tuned in. You'll catch up. You you'll you'll catch Harry Potter snippets from me throughout. Um. Um. 
And then we've got the Happy Stitcher. Um, shirt reference. Hmm. Nope, sorry. That has totally went right over my head. Um, for anybody who didn't watch last week, last week I made myself a Buffalo Bills body lotion shirt. Um, and some people got it, some people did not. Um, stay tuned. I think some people did get it. Um, Carissa asked where the mini bottles are from. Link down below. Uh, Amanda Stitches. With fear of sounding creepy, I love you so much. <laughs> Amanda, I love you too. Um, she said, I'm just so excited about all these mini things. I'm going to show you some mini things coming up. She saw the instructions and in like five seconds realized she, no and handed it to her husband for her husband to make. Um, Janet Jabber votes for the one best friend rather than the handful of friends that don't really know you. Um, Sue is filling us in on these motorcycle rides. Yes, that motorcycle ride through DC did involve weaving around stopped cars on the interstate. Um, she has, she is a nurse, so she has seen several, um, accidents involving motorcycles and mopeds. Her youngest son being a very serious one, um, as well, um, and she also says that she will have, she would require saddlebags, storage bags, compartments, and such for her stitching stuff. Um, she also said I would rather have one true friend than five friends who don't really know me well. Um, that one person would, wait, that person is the one who would be there when needed, even if not called. Um, true friends will hear you when you go quiet. I will say that. True friends, when you go quiet, they'll be like, mm, that's when you're speaking the loudest. And then they, they'll they be popping up like, mm, 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 you're not allowed to be quiet. What's going on? Um, Wendy Passalent, um, start messaging me, girl. Um, she says she definitely got that. T she's like, I de this quote unquote, I definitely get the t-shirt, Clarice. There's a hint. There's a hint. Are you guys getting there yet? Um... In fact, except for the Coke and I'm Pepsi, which I would have Pepsi. Okay, I stopped and got me a fast, like a fast food, like a uh, McDonald's. I got me a McDonald's Coke yesterday, which I I can tolerate a McDonald's Coke. Burger King Coke, Wendy's Coke, no. They taste too much like Coke. McDonald's Coke, Sonic Coke, good. I don't know. I don't make the rules. I got me a Coke yesterday driving through McDonald's. Um... But I have not had a bottle of Pepsi in two days. In fact, um, Middle is going to go to the store and get me some Pepsi here in just a little bit. Um, okay. <laughs> Maybe why I'm all over the place today because I don't have my Pepsi. Okay. She said, in fact, except that you're Coke and I'm, that, that she's Coke and I'm Pepsi, I think we'd be great friends. <laughs> Message me, of course. Like I said, more friends merrier. Um, Pumpkin Creek Primitives just says, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, Hilltop Stitching. I would rather have five best friends because I'd get five different opinions on things. Plus, whatever mood I'm in, I'd have a variety of choice of who to hang out with. It's kind of like the best of five worlds. Um, yeah, having multiple friends. Um... It does. It gives you a whole different world of perspective. You can talk to all of them and, and you've got, I don't want to say the devil and the angel because that's not the thing, but like you've got all of these different like, yeah, you could do this or no, do this or I mean, and then you can take snippets of everybody's advice, listen to all sides of whatever it may be and make a better informed decision on whatever's going on. I feel like I'm that friend that's like, there are people, I feel like I'm gonna call someone out right here. <laughs> She's totally gonna know it. There are people who will, if you're angry and you're ready to take a sledgehammer to someone's car, there's people that are gonna, sh that, are, that are gonna try to calm you down take some deep breaths. Let's drive, let's drive around and calm down and think about our thoughts. And let's just take a moment. Let's not make things worse. And then there's other people who are going to show up with a shovel to go with your sledgehammer. 
and I really hope you guys are watching this floss tube right now because you're feeling I don't even have to name names y'all know okay um the apothecary stitcher um I would rather have one amazing best friend than five who just sort of know me so yeah uh Connie count twice stitch once um she said she didn't have any reference for my shirt until she saw it in the in, in my group chat when I posted it um Lori the flying cross stitcher um she says I think you should wear that t-shirt while eating some fava beans and drinking a nice candy and if that doesn't give you guys all the answer to that shirt I don't know what is going to please that is the most iconic even if you haven't seen the movie you know what that line is because he ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice candy. <laughs> yes, I just did that. Um, it's in reference to Silence of the Lamb. Buffalo Bill is the serial killer in Silence of the Lamb. And he is like telling her to, you know, he's lowering the lotion down to her and in a pit that he's kidnapped her he's put her in a pit he's giving her lotion that rubs the lotion on the skin or else it gets the hose again um and the shirt even says on there comes with its own free basket like it says it rubs the lotion on its skin and then i think at the bottom it says or else it gets the hose again or something like that okay um Lori also says i would rather have one best friend because having five friends who don't know you really well would be too much work aka too many phone phone calls texts can't decide where to eat and would probably talk about my about me behind my back what kind of friends have you had i don't want that i don't like that um my one best friend would know everything about me and still want to be my best friend um I, sometimes um for not all of my life have i had friends for long stretches of my life, I had no friends besides my husband. Um, and there are times now that I am on anxiety medications and my social anxieties have gotten under control. And I have friends and I have all of these friends. I do feel a sense of overwhelming when I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally dropped the ball and I haven't checked in on so-and-so in like so long. Crap. Um, it's a lot to try to remember that you need to check in on all of your peeps all of the time but even if you're not checking in on your peeps all of the time even if it's just a sporadic you know once a week once every two weeks or whatever it may be even the ch the check-in when the check-in happens that person knows they they feel your love so but it can be over I understand I completely understand that Pam um, says She's fairly non-social in real life, so I would rather have one best friend and a bunch of online flossy friends. Okay, I don't know where I got, I don't know. The, the interruptions are happening spontaneously, so now I don't know where I was. I'm holding this in my hand, so I was reading Pam's. Um, one best friend instead of, oh, and a bunch of online flossy friends. Yes, I have a bunch of online flossy friends like majority of my friends are online flossy friends I have a few um, in town but um, yeah most most everybody I interact with on a daily basis is online um, and let's see what else we've got britches get stitches and ooh I would say this Natasha but then there's an I in there so Nat Natasha Natasha um she, she says real person Natasha here um and uh she says that she's smiling within 30 seconds and I'm like, thank you so much thank you so much I, I am I'm I'm trying here I'm trying here people um I would rather have one best friend um I've gone through too many acquaintances who I thought were friends and I'd just rather not go through the hassle of pulling people into my inner circle only to have them drop me when it's convenient for them. I have one best friend right now who I can count on for everything and I'm gold. 
Um, I can hang with people on the surface level so long as I've got my BFF when it really counts. Yeah, I've gone through some friend friendship breakups too, and they are hard, very hard. And it's, it's almost a traumatic kind of a thing as far as like trying to make friends again going into the future because it's like, oh, I'm I, like the last one got messed up so bad and I don't know if I can like pour all of myself into someone again because let's be real when you when you once you've got like a BFF like you pour your everything into that person lord help them um and then we've got um Amanda Stitches who said one best friend um we've got Michelle D um she would rather have one best friend, um, I like getting to know one person really well, and and not many, just some. Okay, I also, maybe I'm reading <laughs> my brain, I would also forget who I told what to. I'd be repeating myself all the time or forgetting to tell someone something because I thought I already had. Do you have brain fog? Do you suffer from brain fog? I feel like I will be telling this story. I'm like, did I already tell you this? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> did I already tell you this? Yes. Um, oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> um, oh, and... Sh <laughs> I understand the fogs and such the week before infusion yesterday was her infusion. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I cracked myself up if I had just continued to read. Yes, yes, you do suffer from brain fogs. Cool. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. What else? Did Amanda Stitches comments throughout the entire video, and I love you so much for it. Um, she does have numbers at the end of hers. Um, and, oh, and then she said Hannibal, right? Wait, no. I don't know. You were right. I mean, it wasn't... Okay, there is a movie called Hannibal and a show called Hannibal, but it was actually Silence of the Lamb, but it's still Hannibal, so it's the whole Hannibal series. There are multiple movies and a TV show, and it all stems from a book. Does it all stem from a book? Am I crazy? I feel like it did. Now I might be crazy. Liz says, the numbers are there because YouTube added the numbers on for people to set their own names. I think it was back in 2022. Mine doesn't have numbers because I reset my screen name channel name. Yours comes up with numbers when I tag you in description boxes. You can change it in your settings. There you go. For anybody who has numbers and doesn't want numbers, you can change it in your settings. Um, She does say she has one in real life best friend, but so many online besties that still know me so well. So this is a non-answer. Ha ha. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite comment. New Atari. New Atari. New Atari. That's how I'm saying it. New Atari. Um, cause he did the, like, phonetically out for me. New Atari is the username. Um, he said, you pretty much got it right. Actual name is Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. Um, Pomona Sprout is the herbology pharmacy. Why is he the only one that called me out on this, y'all? <laughs> I felt like mm, my brain does not deserve a kiss on that one. How did I not pull that out of my brain fog situation? Sprout is the herbology. Oh, and I knew it too. Madame Pomfrey is the freaking nurse. Like in the back of my head, it's like, that's the nurse. Um, yes, I know it's the nurse, but I wasn't listening to you. I was still just saying Madam Pomfrey. And I shouldn't, I should have known right off the bat, Madam, Madam, no, it should have been a professor. Professor Sprout. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, also, <laughs> somebody take my HP card away for that one. Um, Miriam. Miriam Margol, Margoli, Miriam Margoli or something like that as her name. And yes, her, this interview has been sprinkling around the Harry Potter fandom groups still 
this last week and then like I read a comment where someone was like context is helpful because she was talking about this um in description to like somebody who had a Harry Potter themed wedding like most of us don't go that crazy with it we just like Harry Potter and like hey 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 I feel like if we go to renew our vows of 22 years I might, I might just have some Harry Potter all up in my wedding I just might if my husband, you know what, and my husband is at the age now where he's just like, well, whatever makes you happy, I don't care, babe, do it, just do it. Yes. Um. So, yeah, I, I'm sitting in a Harry Potter room, y'all. I go to Universal on the regular because I need to be in my happy place. <sighs> okay. Jeremy also said one best friend is a better than, greater than, one best friend, greater than. It's the greater than sign. That's the greater than sign, right? I'm a hardcore introvert and a hermit, so my social battery would be hard pressed to keep up with more than one best friend. Even when it comes to just regular friends, I tend to have a few good friends as opposed to many acquaintances and casual friendships. That was the end of that. And I love you all so much for the comments. Um, that was a regular would you rather. We're into a, speaking of Harry Potter obsessions, a Harry Potter would you rather. And for anybody who doesn't know Harry Potter, I'll maybe try to help explain it, if this one needs ex explanation. Let's see, where are we at? Oh, this is, okay, so this is the house versus house. This is definitely a Gryffindor versus Slytherin question right here. Um, all y'all Hufflepuffs and Ravenclaws, choose. Just choose. Um, would you rather... Well, is that... I can't tell if that's actually a Gryffindor trait or not. That top one. This whole whole page is Gryffindor versus okay would you rather fail to succeed or cheat to win as a Slytherin I'm supposed to say cheat to win I'm that's what I'm supposed to say because we're cunning okay cunning doesn't mean we're cheating we're just being smart about succeeding we might use some underhanded ways of going about it but it's not part I'm not saying I'm not I have never cheated off of anybody during a test. In a test, I've never copied anybody's paper. I, if given access to the internet when I was in college and I was taking online courses, all of my online courses, and there's nobody there, and I don't know the answer, I may have Googled the answer, but there wasn't specifically any rules that said I couldn't Google the answer. I'm just saying. And you're at home and they didn't say you can't use the internet who who who's gonna be monitoring you using the internet while you're taking an online quiz for an online course nobody you have to be on the internet so I may have googled some answers fail to succeed or cheat to win I'm gonna have to say I would rather fail to succeed cuz I don't want to cheat to win I'm not a cheat not a cheater I I will I will occasionally not tell people the rules about pushing the red button on the ride at on the men in black ride but that's not cheating I just didn't tell them that's cunning it's not cheating <laughs> would you rather fail to succeed or cheat to win okay gosh I just explained all of my slither tendencies out loud to y'all okay Let's do some, um, mini things. And then I think we're done. Mm, yeah. I, well, maybe I'll read, maybe I'll read a grimoire again. Ooh, that was a blue piece of paper. Maybe I'll read a grimoire again. Okay. I did some mini building, y'all. Okay. 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 Look, I made a little table. Yes. Did I roll up all of those pieces of paper and glue them together? Sure did. Down there at the bottom. Um, so... This is kind of what this kit does, okay? It tells you to, like I made all of these little things. And then it says make the table. Now put all these things on the table. 
So I have this whole plethora of mini things and I have to try to figure out what mini thing you want me to use to put on the thingy. And it's all just picture based, like figure it out. But there you go. There's that little table. Here's a little bookshelf. And I had to like glue the doors on and then glue the little beads on for the handles and this was made separately and yep made a little chair I think I showed you guys this chair already little bats I may have showed you that already um there's a little table thing with a little ornamental thing on it um there's another little dresser thing with some things on it with my whittled wood I will never never not forget about the whittled wood um here's another little table got bricks around it all the different little things up on there another little table with the things on it I made a book depository cute I made two little benches let me pick up both of them two little benches and then I had to figure out which books through the pictures I had to figure out which books to glue onto the freaking benches could I okay yes you could just set these on there but like who wants all the things falling off as you're trying to move things around this thing is so is so cool like it's like a two-sided bookshelf so there's all the one side yes I made all these little books and there's the other side so these are all like wood books individually wrapped wood books this side was like a like I folded the this is this is one this is one this is one 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 so they're little like cube things that I folded and yeah. made this folded all those pages and made them all together made the little flower made this little pot okay Yes, the results. Oh, I made a whole giant bookshelf. I mean, it's not giant. Look, this is my hand. <laughs> but all the things on there. There's my little bundle of newspapers. There's little things, little trinkets, little all the things. There's supposed to be a book right here, like kind of leaned up against this. I don't know what book it is, though. I can't tell, so I'm just going to use process of elimination. And when I get down to one book left, I'll stick it in there. It doesn't really matter what book goes there, but my brain tells me it does. So, there's my tray of little things. Ooh. I think I start making the actual building next and starting to put these things into the building. So, we're getting there. We're getting there, peeps. Um, super excited. So... There's all the little mini things. I will keep bringing you all the mini things since I had a lot of people say they love the mini things. I'll keep, I'm, it's literally only gonna take one of you to say I love the mini things. I'll bring them to you. I will. And I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Okay, um, The Grimoire of Forgotten Fairy Tales by William Moore. You can buy this, I would say Google it. Um, he's selling it on his own website. Um, here's the artwork for this page. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock shook one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Quiver shiver shock. In the shadows demons flock. The stars struck two. Reality skewed. Quiver shiver shock. Eclipse abyss lock. Through the keyhole horrors mock. Time struck three. In the void echoes plea. Eclipse abyss lock. Cosmic chaotic stock around the clock, the old ones walk. The void struck four at sanity's shore. Cosmic chaotic stock. Hickory dickory dock, in the madness we are caught. The end has begun under a blackened sun. Hickory dickory dock. There's a pretty bee. I love it. I love it. Okay. That's it. That's all I got for y'all. Um, next week will be the last Wednesday, so we'll be bringing in the April Floss Colors of the Month. Um, 
again. Go get this spring shirt. Go get the shirt. Hopefully you're watching this on March 20th. Go get the shirt. Um, I really think that's it. That's all I got. I'm stalling for time because I'm looking around and think, trying to think of all the things that I may have forgotten. But who knows? Why are you sideways? What happened to you? He didn't want to look at this. Okay. With that, I will wish you guys all a very magical stitchy week. And for now, Mischief Managed.